organized my coat closet and I, I could tell you, I probably organize my coat closet maybe three times a year. When it gets out of hand and like something not working right, then I'll try to see, you know, what will be better. This is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and coming here today I wanted to share an organization project. Now I might share two this week because one I just completed and one was from last week and I wanted to share that. So you guys know that every week when I do my planning I have zones that I work in. So last week was zone one and this week is zone two. So when I'm in that zone I will take like a project in that room and try to organize it. At first, like last year, I was doing organization project of the month, like a room um, for the month. But I decided, well, while I'm in that zone, if I just took one thing like that just annoyed me that I needed working on, then, you know, I'll be really getting some things in order, too, as I'm cleaning those rooms, right? Okay, so last week, I was in zone one. And zone one is like my front um, porch, you know, like the little front stoop area, the hallway, and the living room, okay? And those that means that in though in that when I'm in that zone, those are the rooms I clean, I dust and you know, like do little bit um do little tedious things to try to keep the house in order so it won't get out of hand. Okay, so since I was in that area, um I wanted to organize my coat closet and I I could tell you I probably organize my coat closet maybe 3 times a year. When it gets out of hand and like something not working right, then I'll try to see, you know, what will be better at areas. So I'm going to show you a clip of what it looked like before. Now, what was going on was like maybe last month I had wanted to like have like my cleaning supplies in my coat closet too and like have a, a, a bucket for dusting a bucket for mopping you know like three buckets for cleaning and whenever I clean like a space in the house I would just take that bucket and go through the house and use it however when I put the um little cubby thing in the closet with the buckets it was just a mess I tried to put like the little vacuums and the ironing board in the closet too it just wasn't working it was a mess so I said okay let me just chill and when I get into that zone I'll focus on my coat closet so what I had to do I had to take I took everything out the closet and the only thing I put back in the coat closet were our coats, a couple baskets, uh, a little, um, what you call it? It's like a hamper and what I, we use it for our shoes, all the excess shoes that aren't in the room, but maybe we throw them on to run out the door because I don't like shoes in the house. So we may throw them on to run out the door or whatever, but um, or like at, when the weekend after school Friday, we'll just throw them all in this little basket, you know, the kids and stuff since they're not going to be leaving out. So, and you probably seen this little hamper like basket too. When I did my Thanksgiving home tour, I had the, what do you call this thing? I had the new wave oven in it to hide it. Okay, so I like I say, I use it now to put our shoes in. And I also have a, got a bench. And the bench, I have my husband put it together. I bought some cubbies last week um, from Target to put in the bench as well. I don't have any plastic hangers in the closet. so But every now and then, a random plastic hanger will get stuck in the closet. So I hate that. And, and when I'm saying the um, plastic hangers will get in a coat closet. In a coat closet, I only like to use wooden hangers. Now, in the other rooms, we still into plastic hangers. But I hate plastic hangers. But anyway, eventually I'll transition out. Okay, so here is the closet now. Maybe like a little gloomy looking. Like it's a cloudy day. But the lighting right here in this closet area isn't all that great. Okay, so this is the bench my husband put together. And you have the three cubby holes at the bottom and the top has a little seating area if somebody wants to sit down and put their shoes on but we're used to sitting 
like on the stairs or another chair by the front door. So whenever they get used to that. But up under the bench there on the left side there, I have all gloves. On the right side, I have mixed match gloves. So a glove that we can't find the mate to right away, I just stick them in there by the end of the season. If we haven't found the mate, it's just going to get tossed. But on the left side, they're all mate. So if somebody needs gloves, they just go in there and get a pair of gloves. Now here for the cubbies, like I said, I picked these up at Target. They were on sale for $6.99. And in this one, I have hats. This one, scarves. And this one right here are caps, which some of those could be tossed to because I don't even think they use them too much. And there is that uh, little laundry bin that we have, like excess shoes. Coats, I try to only keep like two coats per person in here. And then when it gets out of hand, I will take them to whoever room they belong to. So I just have a few coats up there. Right there, and like I say, the hang wooden hangers. And there I just hang my little jacket when I come in. It goes under my coat. And then we have Jayla's bag. That's her ballet bag, the bag she takes to ballet. And I keep it here at the front door. So on Mondays when we're heading to ballet, we know where her shoes, only her shoes are in there. So now up here, I have two baskets. And one of the basket, I have phone books. Why? Why are they still sending us phone books? I have no idea, but I guess somebody has to stay in business. And then I have um, a bag that has like, um, let me see, like some extra bags and this bag. Like, so when I get bags from Walmart plastic bags, I toss them in here. So if I ever need a bag to put something in and I'll put it put it back in this basket now sometimes we'll all throw like my purse if I'm if I'm carrying a smaller purse I'll throw it in that basket right there so when I leave out the door I know where it is sometimes not often but I just have little baskets up there if we just need to throw little random things in there and when I'm cleaning up I can take them back to where they belong and yes I did hang a picture in the closet <laughs> I was um looking on Pinterest and I was like I think, I don't remember what it but I was looking on Pinterest and I saw a picture. I said, now, you know, only Pinterest will have a picture in a closet. So, yes, I had a picture that I had taken off the wall. This one right here is the light. It's called A Light in the Storm by Thomas Kincaid. And I, I the story behind it, I think it was when her, it was Hurricane Katrina. I was um, a consultant at Home Interiors, and he had those made, and the proceeds went to those from Hurricane Katrina. So that I had that in there with the little lantern, and I put a candle in there, even though I don't light it. Um, the fragrance would just, you know, smell good in a closet. And then I have like that little, I guess you want to call it like a sail wreath or something like that. I have hanging right there. So I thought that just, you know, looked nice. If you look in the closet, it looks cute. You know how we do it, ladies. So that is how my closet came out. I'm really satisfied with it. So now it's just a matter of just continuously maintaining. I'm set with the way it is. My cleaning products cannot go in a closet. It's just not going to work. So um, this is how it is and this is how it will stay. So I was excited to get that project done. So that was my um, organization project of the week. Um, zone 1, the coat closet one project out the way and of course now it's just a matter of maintaining it and keeping everything okay so thank you guys for watching this again is nicole with helpmamaremote.com bye bye